Hello and welcome to uh, Normal Game Couch. Uh, this is uh, episode 5 of the Mandaleth Operation. There's a lot I have planned for today, actually. Um, I wanted to count out these spaces here, uh, how wide this structure is. I think I once knew, but I forgot. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 over there 14 spaces wide so it's got a 12 wide interior so knowing that let's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then that'll be our 12 wide interior there and we'll just kind of do this here um, what I'm doing if you are wondering, <laughs> you probably are, is uh, we're kind of expanding the house today. Um, believe me, we definitely have way more planned than just a little bit of uh, <coughs> exp expanding the house, but since uh, night seems to be falling, this is kind of something I thought we could work on uh, first. And then that'll go down from there. Uh, I don't really play for symmetry, but, um, you know, this kind of feels right to me here. Just build this up here. Oh, and uh, before we uh, get too far into this thing, I wanted to... Uh, go ahead and build that grappling hook that we've been waiting so long for. So we can do that with um, 15 uh, gems of any type, as, as far as I know. I just happen to have amethyst here. Um, so yeah, there we go. The amethyst hook. Right on. And the way this works, I don't actually have to have it in my uh, my tool bar up here. I can have it anywhere in my inventory. Um, and we can hit uh, L1 here on the controller and just kind of grapple around. It's a great tool um, and it comes at a perfect time because I can use it to help finishing uh, finish building this structure here like that. Alright. All right. Um, I'm kind of thinking I put that middle uh, section in the wrong spot. But we'll have to dig this out for a door. That'll be a door over here. I'm not going to dig that out yet because, uh, you know, zombies. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, change the position of this thing here. Whoops. We are going to put this here instead. We're going to have... Now, let's see. Let me get my wood platforms back up. Um, we're going to have a platform... Here, 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 and here. And then continuing on from 
this one here will extend out that way and extend that out as well. Um, kind of getting dark in here. Uh, we'll have to do something about that in a moment. Um, we can put down a spot of uh, background here so that we can hang some torches up. Oh, we could always hang torches on the uh, on the walls, I suppose. So this um, there's going to be an upper. There's going to be like two buildings, basically, one on the left and one on the right. And they're going to be connected um, by. Uh, a lower hallway and an upper hallway and then in the middle here I'm going to have my um, kind of workstation and then we can add more floors as we see fit uh, we can pretty much add floors indefinitely um, we may start running out of wood here eventually uh, so maybe toward the end of the episode we'll go out and get some more wood um, what do we need we need more background we also need some doors. Uh, let's see if I can count how many doors I'm going to need. Uh, one, two, and uh, I guess two for upstairs as well. So I need four doors, which isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, let's see. And more uh, wood wall here don't want to burn through my wood too quickly because, you know, I need it for other things, but I do know that I'm going to need a significant amount of wood walls. And we can go ahead and start plopping down some more torches as well. And door goes here. I was contemplating whether or not to do this on the stream, and ultimately I decided, uh, you know, we're kind of documenting the process here. There's a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, frankly, uh, is not stream worthy, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think this is a significant uh, upgrade here, so I consider this to be stream worthy. Um, you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> you know, you, you'll let me know, I'm sure, in, in comments or, or whatever. Um, but, you know, this is, is far from the coolest thing we have uh, planned for, for the day. Um, why does it seem like the left side is... Did I count wrong? It seems like the left side is, is much uh, shorter. Or, you know, not as wide. Let me count these spaces again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I think I messed up. Because here we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. Okay, I know I always talk about how I'm not really uh, too concerned about symmetry, but we're talking about our base structure here, so I think this needs to be, uh, the symmetry here needs to be addressed at the very least. So we'll just go ahead and take all these down and move one block over. <laughs> okay, whoops, kind of dug down in the earth there a little bit, didn't mean to. And this should be it here. Let me just make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. A door is going to be put down here eventually anyway, but got to go through the motions um, there's something else that I would much rather be doing but you know uh, because it's nighttime uh, I'm kinda waiting for the uh, uh, you know daylight to kick in before I really start into the meat of this episode 
uh, unfortunately we we have to wait because there's something really cool and I want to share with you guys but we just gotta wait for it to be daytime Just kind of fill all these out and put our torches up. Again, doesn't need to be symmetrical, um, but you know, <laughs> in these hallways, symmetry might actually look better than uh, just haphazardly placing them around. But in the in the actual rooms, I don't really care if things are symmetrical. A lot of people do. I really don't. I really don't care. Alright, and then this middle... Th these are basically just hallways. We can put, like, statuary and stuff in these. Maybe some storage. I have another plan for storage eventually, but the top and bottom here are basically just go-betweens between the left and right uh, towers. And then in the uh, center here, we'll have, like, my my crafting stations, you know. Um, I want to do something to differentiate the uh, the middle section from the rest of the thing. So I'm going to put down um, stone walls, actually, I think would, would be pretty cool for this. So let me take this uh, stone out and make some stone walls here. And let's see here, stone... Walls. Excellent. Don't know how many we're going to need. We'll, I guess we'll start with like maybe about 150. That should be more than enough. Stonewall. Stonewall Jackson. Alright. So this is going to be kind of my uh, crafting area. away from, you know, the, uh, the prying eyes of my, uh, tenants, so to speak. And, uh, you know, we can kind of grapple up here and access these places that may have been too difficult to access otherwise. So the grappling hook really kind of came at the perfect time. Because, you know, now now we have, like, this great purpose for it, you know. I mean, traversing the, uh, the caverns and stuff, you're going to want the grappling hook anyway. It's a necessity. I mean, you know, I, I touched on it in another, another episode where it's like you can kind of get by without it. But you start kind of getting, like, accustomed to, to having it and having that ability... Uh, you know, so it, it, starting a new character like I did for uh, Raiko here, um, it, it kind of feels a bit off uh, not having it, you know. So that's kind of something I want to do as soon as possible. So that's that's kind of, I mean, like, I mean, you know, I, I pretty much made it as soon as I had the gems because it, it's an important piece to me. I wanted to have it as soon as possible, so... And we did. So now we can move um, all our crafting stuff up here. And it is turning into a day again. And we got to put another table down, though, since I took this table out. Um, let's just craft another table real quick. Let's put this stuff down here. I think the furnace looks best in the middle. Um, we can kind of move all this stuff around as we see fit, too. Uh, you know, yeah, that looks good. And we'll put the bench here, here, okay, and the anvil here, okay. Um, so we definitely need another table. For this apartment here. Alright. 
So now everybody should be happy. Um, as I said, it's uh, it's kind of the sun's coming up. So, all right, we put down our framework for a large for the large housing structure. So let me just cross that off my list here. Uh, we got the grappling hook. Cross that off the list. That's something I definitely want to do. Oh, and real quick, this just takes a, a moment. Um, I also have 10 uh, stars in my inventory, so we are going to craft those into uh, mana. Um, where are those? Right here. Okay, mana crystals, yeah. So that will increase our mana pool by 40. Now we're not using any mana yet, but you know, we have it, so we might as well do it. So that increases our mana pool by 40. I can cross that off my list as well. All right. And uh, already kind of making significant progress on the episode. I mean, you know, we got a whole uh, host of things to do over here to finish this uh, structure. But, you know, eventually we'll get to it. It's not, uh, it's not going anywhere. All right. And now that it's daytime out. Let's get to the meat of the episode. Also, uh, off camera, I did plant a lot of the saplings. Um, I just kind of ran through my local environs real quick and just planted them all. Um, haphazardly. I know some of them won't grow. Like that one right there probably won't grow. Some of them aren't going to grow. But, you know, that's okay. They're not going anywhere either. If, you know... If I chop down the tree next to it, maybe maybe that will grow eventually. So, um, okay, so I'm going to open the map and show you something. I did a little scouting um, off the stream, and I found something. I, I was actually purpose purposefully looking for this thing, and I found it. Okay, I'm in slightly the wrong spot, but if you look up up top there, you see uh, some white uh, poking out from the darkness there. We're going to go investigate what that is. Um, we need to go a little bit further this way. You might ask yourself, how are we going to get all the way up there? Well, there's a little trick with the rope. You can kind of, uh, <laughs> you can kind of build the rope straight up. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know why, but I like to keep this in the lower left. It doesn't really matter where you keep it, but... I'll put that back up there. And we don't need these in my task bar. That might come in handy at some point. Okay. Alright, so we are going to start uh, climbing upwards here. Avoid these slimes. Alright. So this is a bit of an exploit, I suppose. But, you know, <laughs> it gets the job done. If they didn't want me doing it, they could have easily patched it out. Uh, there is a problem uh, up here. There's a mob uh, called a harpy. Uh, so, okay, we got some rain coming down. The harpies are kind of dangerous, uh, but we should be okay. All right, so here is the Sky Island. Uh, the first Sky Island on the stream. Okay, harvest some of this cloud here. All right, here comes here comes a harpy. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to get inside of the cloud before uh, the harpies came out in force. Ah, come on. He's losing his, his grip here. Hopefully I can kill him before he kills me. There we go. Uh, some stuff fell down, but I'm not too inclined to go get it right now. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's try to clear a path here so we can avoid the harpies. And It's hard to see my cursor in all this white. That's not what I wanted to do. Here, let's, uh, let's put a platform or two jutting out here. Well, can't, can't put another one in, so 
I guess just that one pl platform. It is very difficult to see where the cursor is in all this white. Okay. So we found our footing, so now we can kind of just dig our way up through this thing. Hopefully avoid the harpies for the most part. Uh, you can see at the top of the screen there's kind of a building up here. Maybe we can dig our way up through the floor of that thing so we don't have to deal with the harpies at all. That would be pretty great. And there's some uh, some furniture in there as well that we'll that we'll grab. Maybe put in one of the uh, the new rooms in the apartment building. And uh, a chest. Now these chests on the Sky Islands tend to have good items. I'm really kind of hoping that there might be a a good weapon in there or something. Uh, I got a weapon uh, from one of these Sky Island chests on my other character. That's amazing. Uh, kind of hoping for the same the same weapon to spawn here, but I know that's uh, the odds are stacked against that. But yeah, we'll see what happens. It's bound to be something good in it anyway. And let's go get this ore. Platinum ore, good stuff. Oh, the harpies are out in full force, man. <laughs> They're rough customers, too, man. They'll mess up your day, for sure. Just want to get this ore over here. silver. Not as good as platinum, but still pretty pretty good. Can't complain. Alright, now let's dig up into this uh, this structure here and see what we can grab from that chest. Should be safe from the harpies. Uh, can't get in here, I don't think. And what do we got here? Gravity banner. World banner. World banner. And then this furniture here. Pretty cool uh, stuff. Skyware stuff. Alright, let's check out this chest. Excellent. This is exactly what I was hoping for. This is the weapon I want. Star Fury. This is uh, a pretty great weapon. <laughs> uh, we got um, Iron Bar, Shuriken, Healing Potion, and just some uh, torches and coins. Excellent. So we are going to loot all. And we're going to switch to this weapon immediately. Th now this weapon... Uh, uh, let's see, causes stars to rain from the sky. One thing that's cool about this is the stars that come down help illuminate the darkness. So, um, uh, I mean, I'll still try to put torches down, of course. That's that's a big part of, of uh, uh, you know, keeping the, the, the stream looking good for YouTube and everything. I, I will continue to put uh, torches down, but the, uh, the weapon is good in a pinch. It does help illuminate the darkness. I might be able to uh, attack these harpies from inside with these stars. I'd have to get lucky though. It doesn't seem to be happening, so... Let's, let's try this out here. This is a pretty great weapon. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, the best weapon in the world is only so great if you have uh, if you have armor to back it up. Not that this is the best weapon in the world or anything. I'm just saying, like, my armor isn't to par at this point. So let's go around and collect some of these uh, sunplate blocks. These sunplate blocks have an interesting property where they're yellow, but when they're next to each other, they kind of turn blue in between. It's a rather interesting property. Once I dig my way through this uh, structure, there's going to be nothing between me and the harpies. So I'm kind of uh, kind of trying to be careful about where I'm digging. I want to grab this ba these background as well as a unique background here. Don't know how I missed these. Uh, let's see. And it's, uh, night is falling, so I can put down some torches temporarily just to keep the place illuminated while I, uh, I wreck it with my hammer. Okay. And these harpies are pretty relentless. I think it's really cool that I got the uh, the exact weapon that I wanted. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm trying to do this uh, as efficiently as possible. I know this... Uh, is not that entertaining, but, you know. We're in a completely new place. I mean, you know, this this is, technically speaking, a new biome, so it's kind of cool to see. All the harpies seem to be going away, but no, they're coming back. For a moment there, it looked like they were abandoning their, <laughs> their quest to uh, kill the intruder. Lot of uh, a flurry of action flying around my character. Hard to kind of make out what's going on in times. All right. All right. So that's all the background stuff. Um, Let's go ahead and try to quickly grab all this stuff before the harpies really start making a nuisance of themselves. And it begins. Okay. Probably gonna die here. Didn't even see that guy. I feel like uh, I can probably come back and finish up real quick, you know? 
Because I was almost done. Ouch. <laughs> I just killed myself. Wow. I didn't bounce. I think that's the first time I ever died from fall damage. Alright, well. Let's try this again. I will save my uh, second... My double jump for the ground. There we go. That's how you do it. I think that's the closest to my house I ever died, also. <laughs> and we have to go back anyway, because I want to get all this rope back. So even if I wasn't concerned with that last little bit of, uh, uh, you know, block up there, unique block type, I uh, I still want to get all my rope back. Because rope's a big deal. I mean, that's that's kind of the, the main way to traverse... Um, you know, verticality now in this game. Alright. And right off the bat, you guys don't give it a rest, do you? Not that I blame them. I mean, <laughs> I come into their uh, their house and mess everything up, you know? Uh, if I could just get this done real quick. I think that'll do it. We're going to pull something a little dangerous here. And... Boost! <laughs> that was a good move. <laughs> I wonder if the harpies will follow me down that far. Because I came down fast. I mean, they don't fly that fast. So if they're going to follow me down that far, then... Uh, and then we got Cremeras here. And right now, I kind of just want my rope back, you know. Shame that I lost half my gold from dying, or... Half my coins, I should say. Um, cause, uh, pretty decent amount from, um, from that chest up here. But yeah, right now I kind of just want my rope back. We'll take that platform back too. So that was pretty exciting. I like that. Good time. <laughs> the zombies jumping up to get me in the darkness. So you see how the stars kind of illuminate the area. Um, I want to assure you that I am not going to rely on this for lighting. Uh, what I meant before is uh, that it's it's kind of nice to have like in a pinch or uh, to illuminate the area like by default when I'm killing things anyway. Uh, but I'm not going to rely on this for lighting. It's just, it's a nice little extra to have, you know. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, I did the Sky Island. Alright, uh, and as usual, well, let's go get that. Um, I have a lot of, uh, a lot in my inventory now. Uh, wow, my inventory was just big enough. Um, I really don't want to get into doing a whole lot of inventory management on the stream. Um, so we won't, but, uh, I am going to have to do a little bit because I got to get rid of some of this stuff. This is, this is way too much stuff I'm carrying. 
to open that door. Can I? Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, need the wood. Okay. Okay, those, this is going to be a platform here, actually. See, I, I, I dig like a, like a structural symmetry. I don't care if like the insides are symmetrical or not, but I like the structure itself to be symmetrical. And we need more uh, platforms. Actually, don't need the uh, the workbench to make platforms, but I'm here anyway. So, I guess 20 is good for now. And we need our background, our uh, wood wall. Okay. I like to uh, kind of lead with doing behind these platforms and doors because I feel like I'm going to forget if I don't. Okay. One thing I, I, I've been doing on my other character is hanging these, uh, these banners up um, in my hallways. Gravity banner. Oh, that's a door. Whoops, okay. This is the banner here. Kind of looked like a banner for a second. Um, so I kind of like, just kind of like to hang these around. These don't necessarily have to be symmetrical either. Okay, um, and uh, why don't we uh, clear out some of our inventory by using some of this cool stuff we picked up. So, I'll put a chair here, chair here. Table. And uh, there's some lighting in here. And then that room will be done. Looks good. Now someone can move in there. And uh, we still need some more tables. And uh, let's see, we need one, two, three more tables and two more chairs. Three tables, two chairs. One, what was it? Two chairs, three tables, yeah, okay. Alright. Now we'll have to fill out this, uh, this bottom here with some dirt. Let's grab some dirt real quick. I believe it's in this chest? Yeah. a bit, um, well, let's see, this one, this is a job for the hammer, this one, there we go, is that a hammer job too? Yes, it is, this is the only one that's actually dug out, um, let's fix these ugly pieces of grass under the surface. Those don't look good. 
Got a hammer job out here too. And take care of that. All right, looking pretty good. I uh, need some more background, um, some more uh, wood walls. Uh, let's let's make some. I could try to calculate exactly how much I'll need, but I know that I'll be wrong, so let's just go for about 200 for the time being. Probably won't be enough, but, you know, we can always make more. might actually have enough. That took about 60, so two more rooms with 60 each, so yeah, we should have enough. Yeah, house is looking pretty good. Pretty pleased with it. Alright, and then we got our uh, other chair to put down here. And throw some tables down. Um, you know, and as time progresses, I'll probably be um, filling this out with more exotic, whoops, more exotic furniture. But for the time being, this is a uh, pretty, um, pretty good situation we got here. And just so I have two torches per room. Not necessarily going for symmetry, but two torches per room. Okay, yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, okay. So that'll enable some more uh, some more neighbors to move in. Let me just cross off the fact that I made these rooms here. I got like a laundry list of things that I want to do on the stream and uh, quite frankly, we kind of did all of them already. <laughs> so this was a very productive episode. Um, oh, there's one more thing I wanted to do. I wanted to um, to start digging out my archives. This is going to be um, underground storage. Um, basically where I keep all all my goodies whoops it's gonna be um, quite large and quite tedious I may do part of this off the stream but just so you can kinda get an idea start digging it out a little bit here. Now we need my wooden platforms. Let's put this across here like that so nobody falls in. Um, okay. I keep losing my torches. I know I got more torches than that. What's going on here? In my inventory somewhere? 
Oh, there they are. I guess I had like a full stack and... Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> We're good now. See how do you how deep do I want to make each of these sections? That seems about right. Oh, no lower than that. All right. So basically, what we're going to do is kind of dig out to the sides like this. feels about right. Uh, put, uh, maybe we'll go, um, I kind of like the idea of putting shelves down and doing like a, like a double row of chests. Um, okay, let's go one deeper. I kind of have an idea for this. making sure we'll still be able to make the jump. And put these down here. Alright, yeah, that's that's excellent. That's perfect. Okay, some uh, some lighting here, here, and here should be good. And um, I kind of think this will work. I, I This is actually very different from the way I did it on my, uh, on my other character. I'm kind of just trying something new out, so bear with me. Um, let me go grab some, some chests here. That doesn't work. Okay, I guess um, I guess I'll have to kind of figure this out off camera. But I was kind of hoping I could stack like one here and one here, but uh, but that apparently is not going to work. But that's okay. Um, well, let's drop some stuff in uh, in this chest for now, and use the remaining time on the episode to uh, maybe go out and collect some more wood because. Uh, Definitely starting to run kind of low. I wouldn't say dangerously low, but you know, we're wood is kind of like the impetus of everything in this game. So you kind of got to have it. Um, and I will do my serious inventory management off camera, which is going to be quite significant today because I'm I'm probably going to finish my archives off camera because this is going to be kind of uh, experimental and tedious and, and you know it's going to be a job <laughs> it's not it's not going to be like most people's definition of fun uh, but you know I wanted to get it done and I don't think it really needs to be on camera you know I mean I, I like the idea of putting everything on camera but there comes a point where you kind of just have to draw the line and be like, well, I'm not putting that on camera. That's stupid. All right. Uh, that's enough out of my inventory for now. Um, let's go grab some uh, some wood. Where's the best place to harvest some trees? Uh, we got some uh, out in the corruption over there and then some out in the snow over there. I'd rather deal with snow than corruption, so... We're going to head off to the right. And yeah, I know I didn't close my door. Let's see if we can... I want to see if we can finagle our way up here with the newly found grappling hook. Ah. <laughs> and 
Eh, all right. I mean, the grappling hook is an amazing tool. I just, you know, wouldn't it have been cool if we could get up there using it? But it's mostly, uh, you know, for use in caverns and whatnot. Probably most of these saplings aren't going to grow, but that's okay. Get out of here, slime. some ore down there. I kind of feel like getting it, even though I don't think it's really a type of ore that I desperately need, but I'm kind of a completionist, I guess. <laughs> Being a completionist in a game like this is uh, an exercise in futility, but you know, it's just here and snow is easy to dig through, so I'll grab it. <laughs> that slime just jumped into a bad time. I am not helping him. <laughs> These slimes are stupid. <laughs> this one's going to jump past it. Yeah. It's a pretty cool weapon. I like it. I'd like to get like a lot of wood. Um, I'm I probably wouldn't do that off camera, because um, it isn't exactly tedious and kind of coming out here, you never know what you're gonna find, and I wouldn't want to miss anything off of the stream. But uh, maybe next time I stream this next next Wednesday, Mandleth Operation Episode Six. We'll uh, go on like a wood hunt or something. Now that I'm all geared up, you know, not really. I mean, there's there's a lot more tiers of uh, equipment later on. I mean, I'm really just getting started. I have good items for now. It'll actually be a while before this sword is obsolete, but it's a great sword for now, and I'm really happy I got it. But it's not going to last forever. Just a few minutes left in the uh, in the episode here. Kind of curious as to how much uh, how much wood I have, but I can't really. Oh, it's up there. Okay, five hundred eleven. 
I was kind of hoping for uh, 600. I, that's actually a number I have written down here. 600 wood, which is a relatively lofty goal all at once. Um, but not really. I mean, at the end of the day, that's a couple dozen trees. It's not that big of a deal. So we'll just uh, meet that goal real quick and then wrap up the stream. So that was episode 5 of the Mandaleth operation. Ah. Tired of your crap, Chimeras. One more tree. Oh, there we go. 600 wood. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream. Uh, so that was uh, episode 5 of the Mandleth Operation. If you're enjoying the series, uh, you know, please uh, check out the rest of it on, on YouTube. Just search uh, the Mandleth Operation. It should come up just fine. Uh, if you're not watching it live, then you're watching it on YouTube. So I guess I didn't need to tell you that. Uh, but I do this every uh, every Wednesday at 8. Um, there may be times where I do it on uh, Monday or Tuesday at 9 if I'm not doing some other game, but definitely every Wednesday at 8, and that's p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting the, uh, the show with your viewership. I just want to kind of get back to the house real quick. And uh, I'm going to do some work off off stream here. Uh, Star just totally crashed into my house. <laughs> but I'm going to do some work off stream. Um, kind of finish my underground storage area. And uh, a couple finishing touches on the house. Nothing major. I'm not doing any more structural stuff. I, I, all that kind of stuff I save for the episodes. Uh, I might straighten out the house a little bit, make it look a little nicer dig this out some more uh so on the next episode you'll see that i have all that stuff done so anyway i've been your host payton uh that was episode five of the mandaleth operation got a lot done got the cloud thing done i, I really want to do that got my grappling hook uh man we just did a lot on this episode this is kind of like the the snowball effect in action like all the other episodes kind of building up to this one but anyway i won't keep talking thanks for watching see you on episode six